while most Titular. of us have been talking about George Clooney's <laughs> upcoming film, Hail Caesar, a new trailer has just dropped for his other upcoming film, Money Monster. Clooney stars as Lee Gates, a bombastic television stock huster whose program The Money Monster and Life are taken hostage by an outraged gunman. As much of the world watches live, Gates must keep himself alive and with the help from the woman who produces the show, uncover the truth behind a tangle of big money lies. John, buy or sell this first trailer for Money Monster. Uh, I have to completely sell this trailer. Um, and, and I like what the... I think the movie's going to be good. I think, um, you know, I love George Clooney stuff. I love uh, Julia Roberts. Jack O'Connell uh, from Unbroken is going to be in it, and he's great, and all that kind of stuff. And I think the theme is good. If I just read a synopsis, the synopsis seems good, but we're not talking about whether we think the movie will be good. We're talking about the trailer. Now, I am the one who will constantly fight back against people who say oh trailers show too much trailers show too much it's like no nah, they really don't that's my opinion normally this trailer shows too much they just showed you the pivotal plot turn in the trailer in the trailer if somebody come to you and say you know at some point in this movie George Clooney actually takes sides with the guy who took him hostage and starts fighting with him and on the side I would have smacked that guy in the mouth for giving me a big spoiler they just reveal the major plot turn in the movie, in the trailer. Mm -hmm. And I went from in the first 30 to 40 seconds of this trailer going, man, I can't wait to see this, to going, why do I need to even bother seeing this movie now? What's, what's the point in seeing the movie now? Yeah. Now, unless I'm totally wrong and that plot turn happens like in the first 30 minutes and it's, that's actually just the setup for the rest of the story, okay, then fine. Then I'll eat my words and I'll go, okay, great. But as of right now, it looks like they just gave me the whole freaking movie. And I'm the one who usually argues against people who say that exact same thing. But this is one of those cases. So for me, big sell on the trailer, Christian. Wow. Total, total opposite. A huge buy. Really? For me. Yeah, man. Because I'm I'm gonna I'm usually the guy that's saying yes, they're showing are. too much. And I'm gonna use your argument. This is absolutely happens in the first twenty minutes. See, and if that's the case, I will totally that's switch what my position. Foster is showing yeah. you. She's showing this is not about just this hostage situation. This is about trying to discover something bigger. And that's what's gonna happen in the first 20, 30 minutes of it. It's it, he's gonna develop it and then George Clooney's gonna help Jack O'Connell through it. I'm okay knowing that because if it is the last Last, you know 10 15 minutes and then we find out then yeah that, that's a plot reveal but i don't think that's the case and i think jody foster's telling you straight up this is what this movie is jack o'connell being cast in that role i think is another t uh showing sign that this is he's he's been playing good guys i don't see him as kind of a bad guy hostage it's not about a hostage situation it's about something else completely in a very different maybe a commercialized version of what kind of what the big short or 99 homes just did i think this is going to be something similar to that playing into the, how this guy lost money Money and how he was screwed over and how a big wig like George Clooney can help him and the use of the Bruce Springsteen song boom got me right away the second they started playing a song I loved this trailer I mean loved it I can't wait to see this movie you're probably gonna sell it too I don't care I'm sticking to it <laughs> Christian I can't believe you you know say that I sell it <laughs> <laughs> but not for those reasons I do want to see the film I think Jodie Foster is a good director and I think the film is gonna be really good but I have to side with John on this I was like, why are they showing me all of these things? Why are they showing me the bad guys on the phone? You can't let him do that. Why are they showing me outside of the studio right there? You see George Clooney with the explosive vest walking along. You're like, that's not the beginning of the film. We don't know how the movie begins, but we kind of can take a wild guess because the trailer basically tells you, tw you know, two hours earlier. So you're going to get a little set up half an hour, him doing his show, this and that. Then you're going to cut back to real time. Then we're going to like, how can we help this and that? And I don't know. I feel really like they just kind of ruined the movie for mm -hmm. me. I still want to see it. I think the acting is going to be really good. It's a good story to tell. I just think they, they showed too much. See, if they had left out that that plot to the showing Clooney working with them, and again, I, I will reiterate, if it turns out that this is in the first act of the movie, then all is forgiven. I agree. Um, then I all is completely forgiven. Even if it's the first half, I'm cool with it. But if I think it's it is. not... 
then I feel like I would have been totally bombastically on board with this movie if you just didn't show that. Just didn't show that. And I find it because everything you said that was good about this trailer, yeah. you're absolutely right. And I'm so glad you brought up the fact that Jodie Foster is directing yeah. it because that's another big thing in the check marks for this. I don't think the movie works if it if it's revealed at the end that they that they work together. I don't think that's what this movie is. I don't think that that's what this trailer was. I think this movie was was telling you that these two are going to work together. The, the, the big guy who's on the side and the little guy, we have... We don't know from this trailer what the scandal is. I buy you know? your comments. Yeah, I, I just yeah. I want to know. I want to know what the scandal See, is. If I want to know right, what the story I'm is. I'm on board because I don't because I from from what I got from watching the trailer, I was pitched a movie of the big guy working with the little guy to find out what the what the stink is really. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.